Hi, I'm Robert with Senco Brands. I'm here today to talk to you about the magazine adjustment for this new SNS 200 XP stapler. Same procedure applies to the SNS 200 XP BST model. These are tools being introduced here in 2012. To do the magazine adjustment, pretty simple. All you need is a pair of safety glasses and a four millimeter Allen wrench. Now, why do you need to do a magazine adjustment? Well, here's the tool, and as you can see on this tool, there is no front latch that you're accustomed to seeing on the heavy wire staplers. This tool has a different design, and this design does not include a front latch. So, it's important that the nose piece be tight so that you can drive staples properly. And if you happen to do any kind of service work on this tool that involves disassembling the whole lower magazine track, and after you reassemble it, you may find that you need to tighten the magazine. Um, one other thing, if the tool's not performing well and it's not driving fully, you want to check this magazine adjustment to make sure it's tight. And let me show you how it's done. If you grab the tool and the handle and you pull back on the track, you're going to notice there's a gap right now. You can, you can actually move that magazine rail back and forth. And that's an unacceptable condition. You need that nice and tight in order to drive staples properly. So, how do you tighten that? I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you take your Allen wrench and you loosen the two side screws. These are your locking screws that lock the adjustment into place. Once you've done that, you go to the rear of the track, and this is your adjustment screw. To tighten, you're going to turn that counterclockwise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lean the tool so that gravity pulls the track back, and I'm going to turn that screw counterclockwise, watching the gap close at the front of the track. And once that gap closes fully, I'm going to give that screw another eighth of an inch turn and then I'm going to tighten my locking screws on the side. And that's going to lock the adjustment in place. Now, once that's complete, I'm going to check my work. Again, I don't want to see a gap here between those two plates. So I'm going to grab the tool, I'm going to pull back on the magazine and that's nice and tight. That should be in proper adjustment. The other way I'm going to test this is by checking the quick release lever. If you happen to get a jam with this tool, you can release this lever and that allows you to pull the magazine open. And at the front end, you've got an opening now to clear any kind of a jam that may occur. But what you're testing here is when you go to close it again, you want to keep an eye on the locking lever. So, when I close the track, I want to see that lever drop all the way down into a fully closed position. And that looks really good, and this one is in adjustment, and this is a tool that's ready to go back to work. Thank you.